Hey everybody, um, I want to make a quick video showing you guys how to do a, uh, a proxy for a high frame rate um, footage, like 120 frame. Um, I know the Sony A7S III can shoot 120 frame 4K, um, and then most of the computer cannot handle the, the, the footage when you edit it. As you can see right here, when I drag into here, it's really choppy, it's, you know, it's not smooth. Even, um, as you can see, these footage is 120 frames per second, and they are in 4K, and I shot this in s 3 with 10-bit uh, color. So the footage is really, you know, it's not most people, most computer cannot handle this. So I will show you how to do it. What you need to do first is open media encoder. First thing you need to do is create a encoding preset. Okay, and then you can name it anything you want. I usually name it the, the footage that I want to make the, the, the proxies for. So this is uh, 120 FPS, 4K, 10 bit. And at the end, I would name it encode. So I know there's the two different that you need to do, the encode and the ingest. So this is the encoding. And then next, you need to choose the HEVC.X265 codec. You leave everything the same here. And here, you need to change this. I usually do 720p. If you leave this checked, then when you change this, there's an automatic change. So it, it keeps the aspect ratio of the video. And the frame rate, so you still leave this checked. What it is, is based on source. So your, your original footage is 120 frame. So it will keep, keep it the same as 120 frame. Uh, and then the aspect ratio, keep it the same. And then the next thing that you need to do is I usually go down and change the bit rate setting. I choose six. Uh, and the quality, you leave it on good. Uh, you can play around with this. Um, basically, this is how much, you know, how big the file and how compressed, the, I think, the, the, the footage. So your cam computer can handle it. Um, this worked for my computer, so I just choose this. So you can play around with it and then change the setting. It's up to your liking, up to your computer spec. Everything the same there, and then I just click OK. Okay, and the next thing what you need to do is create another preset. This one is called ingest preset. And keep the naming convention the same. This is 120 FPS, 4K, 10 bit. Now you change this to ingest. So you can recognize the two different. And then you don't need to worry about this. You need to check this. And now you need to use that. H.265. When you choose the H.265, it will automatically uh, choose the preset that you made earlier, the encoding preset. And you don't need to check this, but what you need to do is check her here, this destination. Like I said, this destination folder is not really important. Uh, you can choose any folder you want. Just click OK. And then, so you make sure it's dot H.265. 120 FPF the encoding that you that you make earlier and then click OK now see so you have those two okay after that what you need to do is you need to export this two um, preset actually you only need to export this ingest preset you select it and you click this button and then you save it to the, the places that, that you want to save it make sure you're in the folder you know where it is. I already have it here. So I'm not going to do that, but you, you can just save it. I, I s export out the, the encoding also and the ingest because I want to give it to you guys, um, the file on the, on the link of in, the in the description so you guys can, uh, I mean, I export both of them out so I can, uh, if, you, if anybody wants this, I can have it in the link in the description so you guys can download it. But for you, uh, just yeah, export it to any folder that you want and make sure that you know where it is because so you, you need to find it later. And then next, what you need to do is go back to Premiere and then just select all the clip that you want to make the preset. Right click, go to Proxy, Create Proxies and now you choose the H.265. My system already not recognized it is, so it's already here, but yours wouldn't be here, so you need to click on this button 
add ingest preset and then go to the folder that you saved the, the preset that you exported out earlier and choose it and then click open uh, mine because it's in the overwrite right here but so go back to h.265 so it's right there so after you do that it will go back to the screen right here and then here this is what I'm talking about earlier you can have the option of choosing to save it to a different folder but I usually don't do that I recommend keep it next to the original media folder and it will create a proxy folder within that folder so all your footage will link together if you just in case you want to move the the whole project to another hard drive or you know move so you can add it to another computer it will all stay the same so you don't have to go and look for it and then just click OK and now it will go open back up media encoder see now go here and basically it's just gonna do the encoding I'll, I will uh, skip this part when it's done so um, I just do one clip now you as you can see you drag it on to to the timeline and now you, see you play it back it's really jerky so you don't want to play it right now when you turn on the proxy Very jerky. Okay, and I want to show you um, the difference between if you don't do the right ingest, the encoding, uh, you will run into an issue right here. I did this one using the I did this with the the Cineform codec. Uh, let me see, right click proxies. right here create proxy I did I, I just did one just to show you guys the difference this is the Cineform um, preset that, that I use for any uh, footage um, like 60 frame and below I usually do this and it's already exported out and let me show you the different why is see you can here look at this screen right here right now the proxy is off right but when I turn the proxies on Basically, the frame would, would jump to a different frame. So you see there's a little jump right there? See, that's why in the frame rate, it doesn't line up. If you, exp if you do in proxies, um, the wrong uh, preset, that will give you a problem later on when you exporting out or you when, when you actually, you know, export out the footage. It's going to be really weird. So you make sure you do it right. You can see right here that the frame jump slightly. I think my computer is stuck right now. See, it shifted a little bit. So that's the difference between using the right codec, the right preset, and the different. So right here, see this one, I'm using the right um, preset that I made. When you turn on the proxy, it doesn't jump, it stays the same. See, there you go, and now I go back to this. Just wait a bit. Sometimes my computer, see, my computer, sometimes it's just laggy a little bit because, you know, see, when you hit it, it, it shipped a little bit. I uh, hope that's helpful to you guys. Uh, I will try to link this to preset that I made already, so you save you guys some time so you don't have to go through the step. Oh, and let me show you how to import it. Now let's say let's delete this. And if you want to, if you down after you download my two preset, just go here, and then go to the folder where you save the two preset, and you can open it. So it will save you some time just to go through the step of doing that. Uh, check out the link in the description, and uh, hope you guys like it. Hope it's helpful for everybody. If you have any question, please uh, leave the comment below. I will try my best to answer the question. Uh, thank you and enjoy.